All right. So there are two main avenues which are stopping you from advancing in STFC. Uncommon slash rares and Latinum. Now, essentially, you can pursue both of these avenues at a different pace. You can either pay as much as you want, maybe spending hundreds or thousands of dollars, going as fast as you want, or going partially paid, partially free, where you'll go a little bit faster, or you can take the free route. This is probably the, the route that most people will take, so let's discuss this. Let me first talk about uncommon slash rare materials, and I will talk of Latinum later. So, if you can't afford or simply don't want to pay, how do you get more uncommon slash rare materials? The answer to this, especially now in 2021, is the Battle Pass. Now, this past Battle Pass, there were a total of 1,871 uncommons, 199 rares, and 100 epic materials. Now, not all of this was for free, of course. In the free version of the Battle Pass, there was a total of 1,029 uncommon and 113 rares. This is completely achievable through regular play. Now, the developers offer a paid version of the Battle Pass, which offers even more resources. This is what I would consider the partially paid, partially free route. You can get an additional 842 uncommons, 86 rares, and 100 epic materials. Nobody has to go down this route, but it does seem to offer an incredible value as you get a bunch of materials plus a prime. If you participate in the Battle Pass, which seems to happen every two months, part one and part two, you'll be getting materials you'll need to finish the Enterprise, D4, the ISS Jellyfish, and so many other ships plus research, basically whatever you need. So that's just one of the ways you can overcome an obstacle which may be stopping you from advancing in STFC. But something we haven't talked about yet is Latinum. Latinum can speed up your game immensely. You can finish research, speed up your ship repairs, build up your base defenses, and so much more in just a short period of time. If you value your ability to speed up the game and eventually progress above someone who may not be leveling as fast as you, you'll need a lot of it. The old way this used to work, or at least you could get a lot of it back in 2018, was you'd have to buy Latinum. Now, the old Latinum value packs from 2018 are still there, and quite frankly, they are ridiculous. For roughly 140 bucks, you can buy 2,000 Latinum. Today, in 2021, I can refine most of this in one day, arguably for free. Now, these Latinum packs, which you can buy for a lot of money, are simply not worth it and pretty much outdated. There is a new way and a better way to get Latinum. Let me show you in this video. During part two of every battle pass, there is an event store. Now, this gives you the opportunity to participate in events and you know gain tokens. You can use these tokens in the event store to buy everything from more materials, officer shards, parts, and blueprints. Now, if you want to gain more Latinum for free, you got to mine it. And you can do this with the Devour. As you participate in, part two, in the Part 2 Battle Pass events, you'll eventually be able to unlock the Devour for free in the event store. Honestly, this doesn't take too long. I advise you to join one of the, one of the top three alliances on your server to make sure you're gaining decent token rewards for each event. Unlocking the Devour in the Battle Pass store is probably one of the first free purchases you should make. The second I would recommend is the Triple Mining Officer 10 of 10. Both of these make a killer combination, especially when mining Latinum. So once you have the Devour and maybe 10 of 10, you can begin mining Latinum. Now it'll be slow refining at first, but if you scroll over to the Latinum tab in the refinery, you actually have the choice of refining either Devour parts or Latinum. Now, I know it's so tempting to hit the Latinum one, but this is something you should not be doing when you first start this. It's important to have a fully functional Devour first. Mine Latinum and refine for Devour parts as much as possible. Only then, once you have all the Devour parts you need, should you refine Latinum. You're probably thinking, well, this is gonna take forever. 
And the secret is, it becomes a lot faster when you start purchasing the parts through the Battle Pass event store. After a Battle Pass or two, you should have a fully tiered Devour. So let me briefly explain the paid part because I think it's important. If you choose, you can spend roughly 100 bucks to get the Prime Latinum Refining Research. This will unlock better refines when refining Latinum and Devour parts. The difference, especially with Devour parts, is pretty significant. If you unlock Prime Latinum Refining, you're going to be going from an av on average 500 Devour parts each time you refine to over 1000 if you have this research. For Latinum, you'll be going from roughly 500 to 1500 for each refine. Now this is something you don't have to do, but something that may become cheaper in the future. So that is something else to consider. Also going over the free part of it, um, I'd say free part, but there is research, which you can do in the research tree uh, in the Galaxy tab, where you can upgrade the speed of your Devour for, for, for mining and to increase your protected cargo. I highly recommend you do these um, researches as well. Okay, so you have a fully functional Devour, maybe 10 of 10. You're mining a lot of Latinum and refining it, all thanks to participating in the Battle Pass event store. But now what? Well, you have the option now. You can either continue to refine Latinum each day, slowly building your supply, or you can continue to refine Devour parts and eventually unlock a second Devour in the Battle Pass event store. Unlocking a second Devour will double your Latinum mining capacity, which will mean more refines plus better rewards, especially on Lat Mondays. So there you have it. We have two main avenues which are stopping you from advancing in SDFC, Uncommon slash Rares and Latinum. Both are needed to advance in the game. In this video, I've demonstrated what you can do to overcome these obstacles and advance your game. So good luck in the next Battle Pass and let me know if any of these options work out for you. All right, stay safe out there, guys.